to another episode of Project CMS. Today we're going to be talking about RC bumper airflow and maximizing it for you know actually putting these ducts to use. When you look at the front bumper cover, you know when the light's not directly on it, it's not that bad. You uh, the shadows kind of hide this area, but as soon as you throw some light on there, it shines through. You see the ground, just not that attractive. Um, you know, if you had the car that came with this bumper, you would have had the undercover that would have taken care of that, but we don't really have that as an option, so we've got to be creative. And to start off with, we're going to start with the actual brake ducts. And what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to actually try to 3D print some brake ducts. And I'm going to show you some of the steps and the process involved. In this episode, we're just really going to talk about the development of them, and uh, in later ones, we'll kind of go over more of the post process. So the first thing we're going to need here is we actually need a drawing to go off of. Um, the simplest way I've come about doing this, we're going to just take a pen and paper, I've got a BGB right here I'm going to put behind it, and what we want is just sort of a basic outline. You know, we want it to be a little bit smaller, kind of get the inner dimensions, and we're going to be using this to go off of to take it into the computer and start developing. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. I'm going to go ahead and scan this in and uh, then we'll go from there. Drawing that we made from our RC bumper and I've, I've scanned it in, I've kept everything at 1 1 scale and you, you can make any adjustments you need to in your photo editing software like Photoshop or whatever and I placed it in a layer in Illustrator. Um, I'm sure there's other vector-based programs you can use, but I use Adobe Illustrator. And so what we've got here, we've got the basic outline of the duct. And then I've gone ahead and I've already created a vector um, that I'm able to replicate the, the basic shape of it. And then what reason I did that, I saved this vector and I use a 3D application called uh, Lightwave 3D. And what it is capable of doing is importing that that uh, vector. So I'll show you an example. So we've got import EPS loader selector file just to give you a basic example and I'll click OK. So there you've got your vector and that gives us the basic shape to work with. And this is, I'm going to show you a few different variations uh, and this, this is probably an earlier uh, iteration of the, of the design. I, I was kind of getting a feel of the software as I was doing this. I'm still kind of learning as well, but I started with this, and I've done a couple of revisions. Um, this is was a bit closer to what I was wanting, and I still wasn't happy with it. And I still I figured out some more tools after I'd done this one. But to give you a an idea, I want it to be fairly shallow, and the reason I want that is largely due to there's not a lot of room back there, and I don't want to put the ducting at a very sharp angle. So the closer I can get to the actual vent, the better. And show you a few other iterations. Uh, we've got the revised. And these, these other iterations actually aren't complete. Um, they were just more tests. The one that I'm currently working on, that I feel is going to be my closest, I've, I've still got a bit of work to do to it, but this really gives you an idea of the basic shape that's going to come. And I'm going to smooth things out some, and uh, kind of rework a few things but I want it to be shallow and the other thing that I'm I'm wanting go ahead and move these windows out of the way I want this area here you see how the duct slopes here and it all it goes to this area uh, you might be able to see it better on the one I did earlier where it's actually uh, you see how it slopes to this opening. Well, the reason I did that is because, say you want to run tow hooks or something, um, this is going to give the option to drill a hole or cut a groove or whatever, so you can feed through a tow hook that can attach to the OEM tow hook. And the reason I do that, so you one, if you're racing, you don't have to take apart stuff if you have to pull the car for any reason. Um, and two, I've towed off the tow hook before, uh, just to you know, the haul of the car somewhere, and it puts pressure against the bumper because the ankle it lays, lays at, and I don't want to damage my, my bumper or my paint job. Uh, so this is just sort of a, uh, for 
foresight of the design. So, but this is giving you an idea of where I'm at now. I'm going to continue working on my my revised design, um, the, the final one. Uh, I'm going to do a little more exterior stuff to do, and then I'm going to start shaping the inside and get the the flow that I want, and figure out where I would, I would actually put the toe hook on the one side, and uh, then we'll start looking at uh, printing it and going into production to make the final piece. So, you know, like and subscribe. Stay tuned. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.